Hi, I'm Olive, and I've been living in Berlin for over a year now. And I've seen a lot, both good and bad, but I've also learned a lot from being introduced to the most amazing recycling system I've ever seen, to the most incredible vegan food everywhere you turn your head. Berlin truly has been great. In this video, I will highlight the top 10 tips and advice that I've gathered whilst living here. Whether you already live in Berlin or you're thinking of moving here, I think you will find some of these very useful. So let's get started with the most important tip. For me, this is pretty important. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure all of us kind of need a nice, decent, low-cost roof under our head. Well, let me tell you something about Berlin. I knew that it would be not the cheapest and maybe not the easiest to find an apartment here, but finding an apartment here is literally one of the hardest things that you will experience in your lifetime in Berlin. You will most likely live in at least five to six different places until you find your permanent apartment, which I don't even have yet. So let me tell you, finding an apartment in Berlin is a real big challenge. Right now, my partner and I are trying to find a place that is unfurnished, a decent square meter, and at a decent price. And unless you know someone in Berlin, this is kind of impossible and it takes months. So be prepared that coming here, you will most likely have to firstly go for a furnished place that is short term. And in that case, you will only be able to stay there from around six to 12 months. And then you will have to move to a different place. So just be ready to move around a lot. Do not bring too many things with you so that you are flexible. Pets is also quite difficult because most places don't accept pets, but you can still get away with it. Just keep shtum. I do plan to make a whole video around finding an apartment in Berlin, but I am in a really not so great place to talk about it right now and give tips because I haven't found anything permanent. But if you do want to find something short term that is furnished, that's a little bit pricier just for the time being, then of course I recommend places like Spot a Home, Wonder Flat, Home Like, I think. Is that one or did I just make that up? I will just put a few links in the description box of places where you can look that are safe. Unfortunately, with these kind of places, you can't actually go and see them beforehand. So that's a little tricky, but just use your common sense. The second thing is transport. Now, Berlin transport is pretty great. You've got buses, you've got U-Bahns, you've got S-Bahns, you've got the Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> questionable. Now it's difficult to say if it's expensive or cheap because everyone has a different idea of what expensive means or what cheap means. Now for me, a three euro ticket for a two hour journey one way is expensive. The monthly tickets I believe are 86 to 90 euro, I think it's 86. I'm pretty convinced it's right at 86. To use in all A, B zones only. So if you're living a little bit outer, outer of Berlin, then you've got to get the A, B, C one, which I think is probably even near 100 euro. Now what I do, and this won't work for everyone because it really depends on your personal schedule and your work life and what that looks like. But for me, I'm very, very lucky that my work is very flexible. So I can work from home, I can work from the office, I can really do what I want and this makes it really easy for me to be able to purchase the 10 a.m. ticket. And what the 10 a.m. ticket is, is basically a monthly ticket but you're only allowed to start using it from 10 a.m. onwards. I believe you can use it from 10 a.m. until 3 a.m. And if that sounds like something that would be good for you, then I highly recommend taking that one because you will save some coin off. Potentially in the future, there will be a 29 euro ticket per month, which would be absolutely ideal. But let's see what happens with that. Another thing about transport is that there can be a lot of delays I mean, there's a common meme joke about the Deutsche Bahn and that it always has canceled trains and delays and it's kind of nightmarish. Thankfully, I don't need to take it too often, but in general, the U-Bahn, the S-Bahn, if you live a little bit outside of really, really central, central Berlin, you will have to wait at least 10, 15 minutes every time for a train. And that might not sound that crazy, but when it's freezing outside, which it is right now, it is actually quite crazy. And also if you factor in 10 to 15 minutes a day of your life just waiting outside for a train, it's not ideal, is it? So my next point is that you do not need to know how to speak German in order to live comfortably in Berlin. A lot of people reach out to me and they say, I'd love to move to Berlin. I'm excited about it. It looks like a great city, but I'm so scared about the language. Am I gonna manage? Can I live there not being able to speak German? My answer is absolutely yes. Now Berlin, you see, it's not really Germany. I mean, of course you have a lot of German people, the majority probably, but there are so many districts and areas and actually companies where you only need to speak English. And the company I work for, for example, we only speak English there. Of course, people speak German between themselves if they're German, which 99% are, but we communicate everything else in the company in English. You will find a job in English here easily. However, on the other hand, I do highly encourage you to learn some German because I think it's really important when you're living in a specific country to at least make an attempt to learn the basics of that language. I think it brings you closer to the culture, to the people 
living there, and just in general, it makes your life easier because you can read signs, you can read things in supermarkets, you can make small talk with cashiers, with people. It's just easier when you know some of the language. So I've actually been studying German for a few months now with Lingoda, which is a language online learning school. And I've talked about this before you guys, but if you are new here, let me quickly explain why Lingoda is honestly the best language learning school. And I'm going like, like listen, listen, listen to me, okay? Here's the catch. Learning a language, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's an amazing investment and it can help you with your life moving to Berlin. Maybe you've been here a few months and you feel a little like, oh my God, I need to learn some German. So the best thing about Lingoda is that you will invest your money into learning a language with them and you have the opportunity to get all of your money back. Yeah, like I'm actually serious. Let me explain how and why. What they have are language sprints. So you can choose to do either the sprint or the super sprint. Now the difference is, is that the sprint is 15 classes per month for two months and the super sprint is 30 classes per month for two months. So you either do 30 classes in total or 60 classes in total, which is a lot, I know, but if you commit to every single one of those classes, you show up, you do the work, you can get 100% of your money back. So you can get 50% of your money back on the sprint, which is the 30 classes for two months, or 100% of your money back on the super sprint, which is the 60 classes for two months. And I don't know what other language school offers this, but I've never heard of that before in my life. Putting your time, energy, investing your hard earned money to learn a language and you're taught that language and in the best way because they have flexible hours. So you can choose any time of the day, whatever works for you. You can always change up your teacher. If you're not feeling it with this one, just go with the other one. It's just nice to know the language of the country you're living in. It makes such a difference to your life quality. If you feel like you want to dip your toes in the water, then you can try the seven day trial that Lingoda is offering, which allows you to take three group classes completely for free. And you can use my code Olivera30 for 30% off on your first payment if you decide to continue. Always make sure to have some kind of cash on you. I was a little bit surprised with this one. I mean, I know in Germany, cash is very, very common, but I thought Berlin would be a little bit different. You come here knowing it's such a techie, techie world where all the tech startups are here and it's all tech and blah, 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 but you still need to use cash in the majority of places. And fair enough, I get them. But it can be a little bit challenging when you are someone who doesn't love to carry cash around and you forget to do it or you come from somewhere else in the world where actually cash is not really a thing at all. So you're not used to it when you come here. And make sure you always have a little bit of cash on you, especially coins, because tipping is huge in Germany. If you don't tip, you are are definitely seen as this rude person. So just make sure to always tip at restaurants, at nail salons, at wherever you go. Just always leave a little tip because firstly, the people deserve it in most cases. And secondly, it's just what you do here out of politeness to show respect for their work. So you may have heard that Germany is very big on recycling, but a little tip I have, especially for those who don't live here yet, or those who are maybe new and still are not aware of this, we have something called the fun. This is a big one. I want you to hear me out. Basically, what it is, is that every single time you buy a bottle of something, whether it's in a plastic bottle or a glass bottle, there is a deposit on it that you pay. It's anywhere from 15 to 25 cents and you can get that money back when you recycle the bottle. There are special machines in every supermarket that are the fan machines where you just go and pop your bottle into there and it recycles it and then the money adds up, you get your little coupon thing and you can then use it to buy groceries with or you can just get the money back at the cash year, whatever you prefer. It really persuades people to actually recycle. And I think every single country in the world should implement this because I've never seen anything more brilliant in my life. My boyfriend even collects the bottles at the gym that people throw into the bin. And he's like, there's money on this. Why are people throwing it away? Are they crazy? And I'm like, dude, you're weird, but you've got a point. Let's say you don't care about 25 cents. You're like, whatever, who cares? Please still do not throw your bottles in the trash can. I mean, you could, people will look through the trash, but to make it easier for people who may need that 25 cents, then pop your bottle next to the bin or just anywhere outside. Don't worry, it's really not considered as littering in Germany when it's a bottle. Someone will collect that bottle and take the money from it. So you'll be doing someone a huge favor just by leaving your bottle laying around. One thing to keep in mind before moving to Berlin or if you're considering moving to Berlin is the beautiful weather. I mean, don't get me wrong, the summers are really great and it's the perfect city in the summer, but you do get very harsh winters like right now. It is pretty brutal and because of the location of 
where Berlin is located in Germany. It gets very, very cold, very dark. We do not really see the sun in the winter at all. The days are very short and it's very windy because we don't have so many high rise buildings. So the wind really has nothing to, what's it called? block it. So just keep in mind that it can get a little bit depressing here in the winter times and if that's not for you then maybe you need a sunny country and you should go to I don't know Spain. But in saying that we do have the best Christmas times ever and the best Christmas market. There is no place in the world that's better than Germany during Christmas time. Try and argue with me, you're not gonna win. Let's talk about food, fave topic. Grocery shopping in the entirety of Germany is extremely affordable and it's actually very good quality. You've got great produce at a really reasonable price. Of course, prices have risen for everything in the world, everywhere in the world, but it's still very affordable. Eating out is also okay. I wouldn't say it's crazy expensive. Obviously it depends where you go, but in the majority of places, you can get a very fair price and a good portion size. If you are vegan, Berlin is absolute vegan heaven. I myself am vegan and I absolutely enjoy being able to explore so many different restaurants, going out with friends to a regular restaurant and knowing I'm gonna have at least three to five really good vegan options. That's not a salad or french fries. You're gonna be a happy vegan if you move here or maybe you'll turn into a vegan. This one is for my history lovers or just in general museum lovers. There is something in Berlin called Museum Sunday. And what it is, is that on the first Sunday of each month, Museum Sunday grants free admission to over 60 museums in Berlin. So it just means that if you are a huge museum lover and you wanna check out all the museums in Berlin, but some can be quite expensive or you just don't wanna spend the money on that necessarily, then what you can do is wait for Museum Sunday and go for absolutely free to all of your favorite museums on that first Sunday of each month. Definitely try it out if it seems like your kind of thing. And the last point, even though I could go on forever, but I don't wanna make this video a thousand years long, there is so much nature in Berlin. For such a huge metropolitan city, you wouldn't expect there to be so many great parks and nature spots but there really is and I think that's what makes it so great is that you feel the hustle and bustle of the busy city and there is a lot going on all the time but there is this kind of escape and getaway of going to these beautiful parks and really just enjoying the calmness. Berlin really has that to offer. There are insane parks here and they're huge. They're perfect in the summer to hang out with friends and just enjoy the nature while still being in Berlin and not having to go so far out but they're also beautiful in the winter especially like if there was snow, it would be amazing. That's one thing I would say is if you also want to keep in touch with nature, you can still do that in Berlin and that's what makes it such a diverse and cool city. And those are all my points for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that does let me know that you enjoy this type of content so I can keep making like a part two, part three, part four, part five. And leave me a comment down below if you're thinking of moving to Berlin or you live here already and if you have any other tips for people who are coming, please share your thoughts down below. I would love to hear them. If you are new here, you can check out the rest of my vlogs. I have done quite a few living in Berlin vlogs. So if you want to see what life is like here, especially as a vegan. Anyway, guys, check out the rest of my videos if you wish. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!